Hello, I'm Silver. We will learn about metallurgy. Metallurgy is a domain of materials science and engineering that studies the physical and chemical behavior of metallic elements, their intermetallic compounds, and their mixtures, which are called alloys. People do the craft of metalworking, such as to create individual parts, assemblies, or large-scale structures. A specialist practitioner of metallurgy is known as a metallurgist. The science of metallurgy is subdivided into two broad categories, chemical metallurgy and physical metallurgy. In chemical metallurgy, the science of obtaining metals from their ores, and of considering reactions of metals which are usually considered with an approach of disciplines belonging to chemistry. As such, it involves reactivity of metals which are also dealt in detail by electrochemistry and corrosion. For example, let's consider copper flash smelting process, with some kind of raw materials used. First, in this furnace, a mixture of roasted ore, coke, and sand is poured into it, and heat simultaneously started for a couple of days. This type of impurity ferrous sulfide forms into a slag. The molten slag floating on copper sulfide, can be tapped off through the outlet. Secondly, in this converter, a copper mat sinks down to the bottom and waste gases can be removed at the first stage. Thirdly, in an anode furnace, 98% of pure copper is formed by removing the sulfur. And in the final stage, casting machine. These machines facilitate the process in which the molten metal is forced under high pressure in the mold cavity. They are widely used in various industries for manufacturing of products, parts, components etc. in the factory. On the other hand, physical metallurgy is one of the two main branches of the scientific approach to metallurgy, which considers in a systematic way the physical properties of metals and alloys. The desired properties may be electrical, mechanical, or magnetic. All of them can be enhanced by alloying and heat treatment. For example, let's consider a magnetic separator, the process of separating components of mixtures by using magnets to attract magnetic materials. In your lab that you've tried, you use magnet to separate iron filings. Suppose, to separate iron filings and sulfur. One container has to contain a magnetic substance and the other called a non-magnetic substance. Two mixtures, sulfur, and iron filings which are dumped onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt moves in one direction to let separately dump in two different containers. One substance which normally dumps is non-magnetic, that is sulfur. And the other called iron filings which dumps magnetically in another container. That's why we call this method as the magnetic separation, used in the metallurgical purposes. You can find out the video source, such as manufacturing of steel, on how it's made video show. This looks like in terms of chemistry. Let's meet her. Hey there, who are you? I'm Amy Rose, teaching the course of chemistry. What's the use? About metallurgy. Metallurgy? Does this technique of chemistry apply, silver? Yes, Amy. Give an example of this chemical equation. Okay, let's suppose ferric oxide. Typically we say iron 3 oxide. When we react this with carbon monoxide, we obtain the products iron and oxygen. Hmm. The atomic number of iron is 26. Yeah, you know the atomic number of metals? Hmm. -hmm. Let's consider aluminium. The atomic number is 13. When we react it with oxygen, it transforms into aluminium oxide, under the influence of heat. So yeah, I proved that. That was a great discussion. We talked about metallurgies. Like, comment, and subscribe now.